you talk to me about the way that you approach filming a character who is crazy? I mean, hmm. how do you do that? Because there, there are certainly things you can do to make someone look crazier in their cinematography, mm. uh, in your cinematography, rather. Um, so I'm curious, what, were there techniques that you used to help amplify the fact that she was completely insane and, and having basically a breakdown yeah. in the scene? Yes, we did. Uh, you know, there's one school of thought is you do the Terry Gilliam, you put the nine mil lens on and you do a Dutch tilt. Okay. You know, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Yes. To me, to me, uh, I mean, that's very expressive. So what we did, or what I'd sort of try to do in, I mean, that scene in particular, there's a few of them, is we cross the line all the time, mm. which is obviously a cardinal sin with TV and or any form of language because it confuses people. So when me and, say, Dan Minahan or, you know, would rehearse the scene, uh, and he was almost, it almost fell off his tongue too. I just said, Dan, wouldn't it be fascinating if we have like a neutral camera and a camera that crosses one line and then the other line? And that's three personalities you could cut and use. Mm -hmm. Rather than um, trying to perceive it through camera work or camera movement, I felt like it was almost a spatial thing where you almost felt like you're jumping to this side of the room now and it's like, wow. So I made sure that, you know, the editorial has got the notes that we weren't making a mistake, that we were doing it completely deliberately, and we only did it on her side. Um, so when she popped out of a character into another character, yeah, we kind of crossed the line. And it, and I and I looked back at the scenes and I thought, wow, it was a not necessarily a bold decision, but it, it worked for me. Well, what I loved so much about it is it wasn't necessarily a super bold decision. I watched mm. that scene or those scenes a couple of times because I was I was really intrigued by how I clear obviously you had an actress that was giving you an unbelievable performance. So there you yeah. go. That there's yeah. the whole story right there. <laughs> but but even like I thought you guys were really like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It was like you were really respectful of the condition of mental illness in a way. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't ham-handed at all. It was very realistic feeling. You let the scene just take place and you did make the audience feel off a little bit, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like you said, the Dutch angle and the nine millimeter. It yeah. was like respectfully done in a way, if that makes any sense. Yeah, thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. I felt, you know, I felt like, you know, you need to be mature about these things. And, um, and like, you know, that we use the word consideration. It was, a you know, Sophie is just incredible. She's like a light switch. You know, she's completely normal backstage and great and chatty. And then boom. And after the first scene, I think it was an earlier scene we did with her, I suddenly read her sort of method in a way, not method acting, but method in the sense of her movement and how she would kind of, you know, twist her head or what have you. So that's where the kind of line crossing thing is that I kind of knew even it wasn't just crossing the line. She was almost playing to uh, other areas of the room. And, uh, but yeah, I think we were, we were all very considerate of her. I mean, it, it, she, it was so funny. Every time she came into a scene, I suddenly found, I suddenly felt like this presence over my shoulder. And I turned around and there was like 12 crew members just watching her performance. That's how mm. powerful it was. And that again, yeah was, uh, you know, it ricochets through the whole set. So it wasn't just me, it was Dan, the director, it was, or Michael Uppendahl, or, you know, everyone in the space was very considerate. Not to say that she was a standout. We were considerate on at many levels, you know, even M Mildred can be considered this way of how we photograph her. But uh, that's an example, yeah, that, that was pretty special. 